to a cozy art vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about art and self-doubt, which I think often come hand in hand. I know this is something a lot of us struggle with, and I found that lately I've been avoiding creating any kind of art for a while because this is something I've been very nervous about. It made me think of the quote, the worst enemy to creativity is self-doubt, and I think that's very true because I often wonder, what if I believed in myself? What if I really gave my creative passions my all? And it's crazy how much we hold ourselves back when it comes to our creativity, because what for? Why? Because we feel we don't deserve it? Because we think we're not good enough? So what? I know, I've been feeling so overwhelmed lately, and like, whatever I do, it's just not good enough, and I'll get really frustrated, and in my head, and I think with creative hobbies like painting, writing, when you get in your own head, you can no longer create. But all of these little fears and doubts, do they really matter? Because here's the truth, self-doubt is just a voice in your head. It's not a reflection of your true potential. You really have to embrace your creativity and find the joy in experimenting, making mistakes along the way, and allowing yourself to explore. I think every great artist has had moments of self-doubt that's natural and it's just part of the journey. So try to find the joy in the process of creation, in expressing yourself and finding what you like and don't like. I've recently started reading The Story of Art and the author talks about artists having this sense of harmony and that this is what makes great pieces of art. And this is something that takes a lot of trial and error to figure out. If you were to ask an artist what makes this piece feel right to them, how they know that this is how it's supposed to look, they often can't explain why. It's a very intuitive thing and it takes a lot of experimentation. It takes trying out different things until it clicks and you know that this is right, this is how you want something to be. And I believe this is part of the same thing that a lot of creative people struggle with because especially if your skill isn't as developed as a great master, for example, it's going to take a lot more trial and error. But what you're feeling, this self-doubt and frustration, it's a part of that same instinct that will make you great. So try to lean into it and embrace it and say, okay, this isn't right. This isn't how I want it to be. But what can I do to make it feel better? How can I get it to feel right? And this is such a great and valuable thing, even though it can feel frustrating. It's the people who tend to be more fussy and frustrated with themselves who have this sense for harmony. And if they really develop that and lean into that, they can make something great. So this is something that I found really helpful and is a nice little reminder when it comes to creating art, because the fact that you're not satisfied, you're frustrated with what you're doing, is because you have a vision for something better, for something greater. It's just your skill that needs to be developed to match that. So today I'm going to be starting a new painting because it's something I've put off for the longest time out of fear of not being able to get it right. And I'll be really focusing on these little things, trying to find joy in the process and doing a lot of experimentation to see what feels right and what doesn't. And even if it turns out badly, I'll try to find the joy in it. So let's get started.
so it's late i think i'm gonna call it a day for today and work on my painting some more tomorrow i kept going over the same areas again and again trying to get it right and i was changing it a lot but i don't think i was making it better so i think taking a bit of a break will help with this i hope this vlog can also be a bit of inspiration for you to partake in your creative hobbies even if it doesn't feel productive or worthwhile or like the right time to do it. I think a lot of us feel so much pressure, almost like being creative is a performance where it has to be good, where this is a reflection of you. But instead, I like to think of it a bit like a game where you don't start playing a game and expect to already have the highest skills and all the rewards and everything. Otherwise, what would be the point of it? It's in starting from zero and building yourself up. It's doing little things over and over and over again to improve and then finding joy in that. It's about embracing the challenge and becoming who you want to be in it. And I think if we try to see the frustration with these kind of things in a similar way, then at least for me, it feels a bit easier. I'm sure any artist you look up to wasn't perfect in their first try. It usually takes a lot of bad paintings and then a lot of okay paintings to actually make a good one, so that's why I'm going to try and see this as a good try. And the thing is, with self-doubt, it gets better the more you confront it. You'll become more comfortable with it, at least this is something I notice in myself, because you can't improve until you actually do the thing. And self-doubt is often what gets in the way of it. So I hope this can be a bit of a reminder to myself and to other creatives that it's okay if you don't feel good enough. Do it anyways, because self-doubt is the worst enemy of creativity. And I believe that's so true. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any advice for dealing with self-doubt or oil painting, honestly, I'd love to hear it. I hope you like this video and I'll see you next week. Bye!